Well, we're halfway there. I thought I'd stop while we were at uh, eye level here and get a look at the new shoes. Um, so those are Enki RPF ones um, with uh, three fifteen thirty fives in the back and uh, a lot of clearance here. I don't. I don't think I'm in any danger of striking those. Um, it, it looks a lot more aggressive than in, than I expected. Up front, I've been really happy with uh, with how it looks too, and how they, they it drives. These tires are fairly inexpensive. Um, since I drive this car, I'm not going for track rubber. <laughs> um, I took it out yesterday and drove it around, and then I gave it a bath last night just before I put it away. So, um, so everything looks pretty nice. Um, but anyways, uh, I got, you know, Sumitomo HGRZ 3s, which are, I've got those same tires on my Shelby, and I've been very happy with them. I uh, seem to wear pretty well as long as you keep your alignment uh, together. And, uh, you know, the only negative thing at this point is the thing makes a lot of booming noises without the tailpipes. I've got to have custom tailpipes made to fit around that, that suspension. Um, but you can see it's got a nice stance and it, it sits real nice and, and happy on the road. Um, if I can get the seats in order, I think it's going to be a really fun car to drive. So, uh, one of my thoughts for Griggs is that, you know, uh, everyone doing these coyote swaps, um, starts from the perspective of, of what they're going to do, um, to the engine and, Horsepower and everything's great, but uh, if you're going to drive your car for any length of time, one of the really obvious things that pops out is that the Fox chassis suspension under this car is just a little long in the tooth to handle 400 horsepower. And that's the least powerful Coyote configuration. My, my engine is turning probably something like 410 horsepower at the crank, and, uh, and this suspension was definitely needed. So... My thoughts are Griggs should just make up a stage one, two, and three, you know, recommendation. You have a a ninety nine to four Mustang. Get these parts and for stage one, you know, if you just want to keep the car on the road and it's a daily driver, stage two would be you know something with a, say a blower or, or you know some minor tuning, and then you know stage three would be you know complete insanity. I've gone and bought you know, the world's most monster twin turbo kit. And I need something to keep the space shuttle from launching to Mars, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> so I hope you're paying attention, John. I, I think your products are amazing. And, uh, and I hope you guys do something like that. It would just be a page on your website that I'd be happy to help you create that just says, here's the recommendations for someone doing a coyote swap. You really need to t think about the back of your car, the the K member and everything that Greg sells K members and you know front suspension setups and everything they're just the best stuff in the industry and uh, they should put some stuff together in my opinion that just say hey you know you you want to be safe and have a good time with your coyote here's what you do so I can tell you that this was a bit of a journey for me but I wanted to do it all myself you know professional installation of course is always an option um, I'm kind of particular so. Uh, I, I farmed out the welding <laughs> because, of course, the welding in, in this case is substantial. And we'll get to a little bit more of the top side stuff. You see the bottom side stuff on my car.